Imagine being in a bus, in a car or in a plane, in a boat or in a train. Imagine that this bus or this train is so big that you do not have the faintest idea of where its boundaries are or how its shape looks like. Imagine also that you have been there for so long that you have forgotten how and when you have caught it, as if you were in there since a lifetime, and even why you have taken it. Imagine you don't even remember where you wanted to go when you came in and what will be there once the journey is over. Imagine that this bus or this boat, a bit like a cruise ship, is so crowded and populated that you don't even understand if there is someone over there who is driving it. Imagine all that and you will have an extremely precise picture of what it means to be in the world. The first characteristic of the world is not, in fact, that of being an enormous mass of extended matter, not to be an open and welcoming space. The world is not even something defined by the fact of being populated by other objects or subjects to be the place of others. The essence of the world is not even to be or to become the object of knowledge. The world itself, instead, defines itself first and foremost by being a planet. That is to say, a body, or rather a set of bodies, characterized by an irregular and almost perpetual movement. That is the meaning of the word planet in Greek. The world is a body adrift, and conversely, being adrift is the first attribute of all worldly bodies. The drift is not just a spatial movement, it is not just the displacement from one place to another, it's a much more violent, intimate, bodily movement that operates at every level in the life of every earthly being sex, nutrition, but also imagination, language, and above, above all, birth and death are form and expressions of this kind of movement. It is because of the planetary nature of the Earth and of all its kids that every single body on Gaia is subject to metamorphosis. So my first statement today will be that every cosmology every doctrine or every theory of the world must implement this planetary aspect. Every cosmology has to be a planetology and, if you may, a driftology, a metaphysics of drift. As a part of the world, as a part of the planet, as a planetary entity, every single being on Earth and on space is obliged to move that is to transform itself, to change its home, to migrate. 